Good afternoon, folks. My name is John Parkinson, and this is the WordPress Community Interview Series. And with me today is uh, Jeff Madsen. And Jeff, uh, I really do appreciate you taking time to uh, uh, sit for the interview. And could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure thing, John. Uh, my name is Jeff Matson. I have been uh, active in the WordPress community for a few years now. Um, I am a I am the uh, lead docs guy over at uh, Gravity Forms, and I also contribute to various other projects all over the place, whether it be code, um, docs, oh. really anything else. Okay, great, great. So you're in uh, uh, more than one of the uh, Slack channels. Oh, I'm everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I, I know that, uh, you know, it takes uh, uh, several people in each of the uh, uh, make.wordpress.org uh, groups. Uh, I forget how many there are, 10 or 12 maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, you know, everybody that I have chatted with uh, uh, are always uh, real positive and, and always helpful. Um, if you don't mind, let me go ahead and ask you what your thoughts are on the WordPress community. The WordPress community in general, I love. Um, I really, I feel like it is more of a, rather than a community built around a platform, more of a platform built around a community. Yeah. Um, and because of that, the community has become this large thing that it is just all encompassing. And really a lot of us, we, we work on WordPress not just because we believe in the platform, but because we believe in the community and the people that we're working alongside. Great, great. And um, uh, how many uh, WordCamps do you uh, attend uh, in an average year? Um, well, last year was a little slow. I only probably did about four or five. Um, the year before that, I want to say I probably did at least 15. Wow. I'd probably That's say uh, quite a few. Uh -huh. Did you happen to make uh, WordCamp US? I did not. Unfortunately, that was scheduled at the same time as our uh, company Christmas party. So oh, it, got, uh, bummer. it got all mixed up there, yeah. That that was a uh, an experience. I actually uh, was invited to go to the uh, community summit uh, and was only able to spend uh, about half a day there the first day of WordCamp. Um, uh, but I, I just could not uh, avoid uh, having to leave about noon, but I had a fantastic time. Um, and it, you're probably like a lot of other people. Uh, you spend uh, some time in sessions, but you also um, spend uh, uh, some time in the uh, what they call the hallway track. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of networking goes on there. Can you talk about a little bit about that for maybe somebody that is um, contemplating uh, attending a WordCamp or first-time WordCamper? So me personally, I spend the vast majority of the time in the hallways. Um, if I go to a session, it's usually because it's uh, a friend's session and I'm going to support them or, or maybe something that I haven't seen before, um, something really outlandish. Mm -hmm. um, but... I do a lot. I do a lot of the hallway stuff, but but my first WordCamp was actually WordCamp Miami. It was three years ago, something along those lines. Um, and when I went, I actually attended all the sessions, uh, um, as many as I could at least, oh. and really, really, really enjoyed a whole lot of information. What I could best recommend for somebody who's kind of attending their first WordCamp is attend a lot of talks that you don't necessarily have a lot of knowledge of. Right. So if I attend talks, I'll do a lot of like front end type stuff or design type stuff that I'm not good at at all. Mm -hmm. I'm terrible at front end stuff. Huh. Um, and I, I attend a lot of those talks simply because I'll get a lot more out of them and I'll kind of understand how front end developers or designers kind of do things a little bit different than, than how I would do things in, on a development aspect. Absolutely. Yeah. Great. Uh, actually, I got to spend about an hour uh, yesterday evening with one of their organizers, uh, uh, David Bassett, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, I happened to be able to hang out with uh, uh, Kyle Maurer on his mm -hmm. uh, WordPress Roundtable uh, podcast, and David's hilarious, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he had me cracking up the, for the whole hour. Um, uh, I know that you have a few talks on uh, uh, WordPress TV. Uh, could mm -hmm. you give us your thoughts on that? 
So I, I do enjoy WordPress.tv quite a bit be, simply because it gets a little bit of my talks out there as well as I'm able to, to view other people's talks that I wasn't necessarily able to attend, like all those talks at WordPress or WordCamp US. Um, so there's I have several friends of mine that I love to see their content and their talks and everything, but it's not all the time that I can always make it to their city. Right. Um, and in that time, I usually actually access their, their talks in WordPress.tv and promote those as much as I can so that other people can gain access to them. Actually, because of one of my talks, I want to say it was in, where was it? It was, I think it was actually my talk from Dayton on documentation. It was actually found by one of the guys um, that, who worked for the company uh, Supercell, the guys who make the Clash of Clans games. Uh -huh. And because of WordPress.tv, he actually found my video, and he reached out to me and started talking to me. And 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 sure enough, I'm I'm doing just a little bit of uh you know free advice consulting for for Supercell, you know, a company that's got Super Bowl ads. Oh, it's cool! Awesome. Nice. So uh, you never know what's going to happen uh, when uh, something that you've you've been involved in or presented on is out there uh, for anybody to you know find. That was uh, definitely. And I, I don't know if you're aware, uh, since oh, roughly the first of the year, uh, the WordPress TV team has been uh, uh, putting videos up on YouTube. Uh, they have a WordPress TV channel, and they're getting close to having a thousand um, uh, videos uploaded. So that's an ongoing effort, and uh, hopefully something we can get automated uh, uh, here soon. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, it, it, it's working out great. Uh, do you have anything else to add? Uh, just throw out there for general purposes. Well, I would say uh, just general purposes stuff um, for really anybody that's entering the WordPress community or is, or is kind of watching their first, you know, their first WordPress.tv talk or anything like that, and they're thinking about attending a WordCamp or getting really active in the community. The best thing I can say is is just be very genuine from the get go. Don't be don't be ashamed that you may not have as much knowledge as, as somebody else because that, that other person was also in your shoes at one point and they're willing to help you as much as possible. That's one of the things that I've discovered from the WordPress community is that I'm most definitely not the greatest developer in the world. And I've, I've known that for a long time, but the biggest thing I've discovered was is that if I ever have a question, somebody always knows the answers to it. Yes. Um, so never be afraid of, of what you may not know. And of course, don't be too cocky as well because, right. yeah. <laughs> because somebody definitely knows more than you do too. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And that, that's the one thing I love. Uh, uh, the information is uh, freely given. Uh, as like you say, as long as you're genuine and uh, also it doesn't hurt to do a little bit of research on your own before you ask. <laughs> oh, most definitely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, if you don't have anything else, I think we will end it here shortly. I like again, I do appreciate your time, and uh, Not a hopefully we'll run into each other on the uh, uh, WordCamp trail. Sounds good. Okay. Have yeah. a good day. You too.